shit. to look far in the distance, but if you look too far, you won't see what's on your foot. I understand. Then, you are trying to search for that strange energy? Correct. After Bison was destroyed, the positive energy returned, and the world went back to normal. However, even in this tranquil atmosphere, I sense a source of disturbing energy from the one called G. To see through its true nature, I think I have no choice but to touch it directly with my soul. Now I see. That's why you were practicing against me. You wanted to try and refine your soul power. <laughs> I am sorry, old master. No need to apologize. Besides, I got this nice shirt from you as a little souvenir. I am very happy that you like it. The traditional Japanese crane pattern is very chic. You have such great taste. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> then, old master, I will take my leave. Hmm. Did you see that, Yamasin? She must be in love with me. Ah, if this could only have happened a century earlier. <laughs> hmm. Well, let's leave that for now. I do sense a strange energy. <laughs> it is as I suspected. Anyhow, it's time for dinner. Hello! I thought we might have a meal together. Welcome, old master. You came all this way just to share a meal? Well, perhaps we could have a little talk while the curry is simmering. Let me pose a question to you. What happens when evil ambition drives the world to the brink of destruction? Bison, I can only assume you are talking about him. However, that man no longer... ...exists, am I right? If you are convinced it was his psycho power and his tremendous army, which sent the whole world into crisis, then I would say we have avoided the worst possible outcome for the time being. However, what if a real threat does not have a physical form like an army, but is something intangible, like a force of will? What if it is his dark ambition itself that is trying to swallow the entire world? Do you mean, even after his death, his dark ambition is still corrupting our world? That is difficult for me to imagine. Then please, allow me to surmise. You 
rush to battle me, but you are about a century too early. I didn't expect that. Old Master, you are most unpredictable. Ha ha ha! How was that? Well, this may have been just for fun. Even if something was just for fun, and if one has the sheer will of force to win, no matter what, or if one is willing to consider the possibility of losing, the result could be entirely different. My mind did not consider this. Oh. The will of Bison? Could it be? Yes, the dark ambition of that man with his tremendous power has already been exerted upon this world. It consistently threatens our existence. If he has used that concept to instill his will into others, then the apocalypse may yet come to pass. So you're saying, even after Bison's death, we still can't stop the world from moving towards destruction? Sadly, yes. And that, my dear friend, may be the true nature of psychopower. Corrupt and control people's minds. It is indeed quite disturbing. In that case, how do we avert that which is inevitable? Well, firstly, you could stop with the pessimistic attitude. Consider this. If such a powerful force of will could threaten the entire world, then those people, in the right state of mind, may have the power to save it instead. What is strength? Most who seek it end up vying for domination or destruction. Such things are a natural consequence, but they are ultimately meaningless. To overwhelm, subjugate, or even kill those who oppose you is but one interpretation of strength. However, if one's mind were free from such desires, and they sought out strength purely for its own sake, if a human with such a clear and unselfish state of mind does indeed exist, then that person can prevent the impending apocalypse, but only that person with that kind of strength. Oh. Aha! Well then, I believe that the curry is finally ready. Oh. Yes. Shall we? I'm starving. Yes. But, old master, I'd like to hear more of your thoughts on this. Perhaps you young people should figure it out. Ah! I'm starving. So, what kind of curry have you prepared today? But, old master, I... To seek strength, purely for its own sake. To find someone in this world who is both pure of mind and pure of heart. That would also be very interesting. <laughs> I'm ready to go! So, this is the place. I've heard a lot about this mansion. It really is as impressive as everyone said. I wonder if she's really planning to have it in here. So I'm invited to a girl's tea party. All the parties at the Kanzuki residence always seem to end with us beating each other up. I wonder how things will go this time. But when I think about all the delicious desserts they always serve, I can't resist! Huh? Who's that? Hey, I don't know who you are. <sighs> but we're having a girls' tea party today. If you want to make a challenge, come back another time. You are. That's what I'm asking you, stranger. Those studs and spikes you're wearing make you look suspicious.
stranger. In fact, I was... Ah! Hey! Long time no see! You haven't changed a bit. Wait! Do you know this biker guy? I'm telling you... No! You're wrong, Ibuki! This isn't a guy! Look! Allow me to introduce Miss Akira Kazama. A girl? Yes. Apologies for the confusion. Since the two of us hadn't seen each other for a long time, we had planned on getting together to catch up. But then I told kanzuki san about it, and she decided to arrange this tea party for all of us. Ah... Uh, now I understand why she invited me, too. Yes, thank you for inviting me as well. Now I get it. Sorry I thought you were a suspicious guy. I'm Ibuki. So, how do you two know each other? Well, I could tell you. But why don't you do it, Akira? You remember? Well, it was way back when I was on a mission to find my brother. I was undercover at an all-boys high school, wearing my helmet to disguise myself. Sakura, I want to become much stronger. Yes. I need to be stronger. I will fight you and help you to train. So, don't hesitate and just attack me. Then she helped me with my training. And that's how we got to know each other. Ah, so you two are sort of battle buddies, huh? I kind of figured that. Yeah, those were the days. In fact, I'm getting excited just remembering. What? It's been a long time, so? Uh, well, aren't we having a girls' tea party today? But you already had a fight with Ibuki! Why can't you fight me too? Uh, um... That's a little too close, Miss Sakura. Aww. Uh, you must be Kanzuki-san. Uh, how do you do? A pleasure to make your acquaintance, Miss Akira. You are the sister of the legendary gang leader Daigo Kazama, correct? It is an honor to meet you. <laughs> Greetings! Welcome to the Kansuki Tea Party. I brought some desserts from Delphone Bakery. Miss Sakura kindly recommended it. Their cakes are really delicious. <laughs> I've always wanted to eat their sweets! Awesome! It's definitely a popular shop. There are always people standing in line. Did you buy everything in the store? I did a little research and noticed the company has great potential. Thus, I purchased a majority stake. Please, eat as much as you like and let me know how everything tastes. What? You bought the store itself? I do always tend to go big. I can eat as much as I want? However, before we begin, Miss Akira Kazama, would you do me the honor of fighting me? What? Hansuki san? Pardon my confusion. Uh, but I thought. while we all chatted with each other, we were going to have tea and desserts? Yeah, that's true. But her tea parties always seem to end up like this. A moment in the heat of battle is worth more than a thousand words. What better way to get to know and understand one another is there? You know, she's right. That's how Akira and I got to know each other. By fighting. 
Tatsuki-san can't resist competing with a strong rival. Since you and Sakura have fought each other before, she is quite eager to fight you as well. I understand. Then, I accept your challenge. If I find your skills are up to par, you can eat all the desserts you like. And I'll invite you to my private beach as well. Well then, I won't hesitate. Here I come! to greet you all again. Welcome to the girls' party at Konsuki Private Beach. <laughs> Take this! Take this! <laughs> Stop it! Stop it! <laughs> wow! Akira, you have a really good swimmer. Uh-huh. Am I? Someone taught me a while ago. Who was it? A boyfriend, maybe? <laughs> no, it wasn't like that. <laughs> By the way, what do you want to do next? You know, after this? Huh? Well, what do you mean? What else but have a match? I, Karin Kanzuki, will never fall to the same opponent twice. Yeah, she can't stand losing. Huh? Not again. I've got dibs on the next five. Isn't that right, Akira? <laughs> <laughs> 